welcome to the start of a new collective haul for April and this will just be me opening packages as I get them throughout the month. And first we start with another terrifying package from Better World Books. Yes, I'm willing to take the risk with what is in here. This was marked as good condition, not even very good, so I'm not expecting much. Okay, so we got volume two of Wandering Sun, another book that's usually like $100 on the used market, which I got I think for $17. And it looks like we got some stickers. Okay, that's manageable. A little dirty, but I can probably get that off. This I can take off. No stamp on the top, but some yellowing. I'd rather there be yellowing than a stamp. And this cover is just like pretty much dirty, but I can try to fix it. There is a rip right here, a rip right here, and the moment of truth, the inside. Oh, they give me a sticker. <gasps> There's nothing. Oh, wait, I spoke too soon. There's a discard stamp and some stickers. Okay, I can work with this. I can work. With this. Like I said before, the things I'm looking for are stamps and like irreversible damage to the covers. Like this is unfixable. I'll just probably just put a piece of tape and I'll be fine because I'm just really excited to have this. And now I'm only missing volume one and three of the ones that are hard to find. So. So today I got a few things, uh, starting with this. I got my first COVID shot today and this used bookstore that I went to in my last haul is near the place that I got it at. So I popped in there and as you can see from the footage, there wasn't that much new stuff. So I decided to just pick up the rest of the Heroic Legend of Arslan volumes they still had there. So four through eight, I still haven't started this, but even if I don't like it, that's fine. I could just pass it on to someone else. One of my friends really does like this political fantasy type genre, so I'm sure she will like these if I don't. And then, one of the most surprising things, when I got this in my mailbox, that this is from Barnes & Noble, and it is in, like, one of those cardboard square things, which I've never seen them do before. Okay, so what I got is volume 16 of Dr. Stone. Hi, so we have a box from Right Stuff today. Okay, so first they gave me this ZOM 100 mask. This was for free. I haven't read this longer, but maybe I should, and then I can use it so I can advertise it. That's interesting. And then last week, Right Stuff was having a sale on all their shoujo manga, so really odd for me that I did pick up quite a lot of things. So I had to split my order into in stock and not in stock stuff, but what I picked up from what was in stock was a couple volumes of Kimi no Tsudoke, yes. I recently watched, I think, like six episodes of the anime, and I really liked it. Like, this is just like your basic shoujo series, but I don't know, I really like the protagonists. The story was cute. I'm excited to get into this, and I think I've ordered the first 10 volumes from different places, so for now, this is all I have, but I will have the first 10 coming. And then I got volumes 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6 of my love story, and this is actually my favorite shoujo manga after Lovely Complex. I read it before at my local library but I don't own it so I don't know I just saw this and I wanted to read it again so I picked it up. Only the first six volumes. I ordered five from somewhere else because it was out of stock but I think there's only 13 volumes of this so I'm just gonna pick it up slowly but I'm really excited to own this now and I will definitely reread it soon. And then here we have volume 10 of Banana Fish. This was a majority of my out of stock order. I just ordered the rest of it and it'll come whenever it comes, but I guess this was one of the volumes I was actually in stock. So I got it now. So now I have one, two, and 10, but I'm gonna wait until I have a majority of it to start reading because I know I'm gonna fly through it. And then this is probably the thing I'm most excited about in this package. My Senpai is Annoying 3. I really like this manga. I already bought volume four, so I've been waiting for three to come in so I can read it, but I don't know, y'all. I just really like this manga. It took me by surprise how much I like this, but yeah, I'm really excited to read this and number four. And then lastly, I got volume 11 of Silver Spoon. I'm trying to piece this together as well when I can, kind of just buying a volume here or there. I think I have ordered up to volume 12 or 13 now out of 15. So yeah, I'm just slowly getting these and hopefully I will be able to read the rest once I get the rest. Hi, so today we have a package from Barnes & Noble. So first, a continuation of the last package. I picked up volume 5 of My Love Story and volume 3 of Kimini Todoke. This was one of the only places that had volume 3 in stock, so that's why I ordered this from here. And then also, they were one of the only places that had Chainsaw Man volume 2. So yes, I did read volume 1 of this and I really liked it. I was surprised because it's usually not- it's not the usual genre that I read, but I was like intrigued. So that's why I just like immediately ordered volume 2. This was the place that had it, so I'm excited to read this. And then lastly, I got I Hear the Sunspot Limit 3. This is the last volume of I Hear the Sunspot for now. I'm not sure if the author has said something about how they're planning to continue it, but a lot of people have are seeming to say that this might not be the last part, but for now it is. I've only read volume 1 of this and I knew that 
this was coming out soon so that's why i wanted to wait to binge it all but this volume is pretty thick so i'm glad but yeah that's what i got from Barnes and noble Hi, so it's the first day of May, and I think I'm going to combine this with April because I didn't get that many packages. Okay, so what I got is volumes 13 of Yamushi Petal with Mido Suji on the cover, volume 14 with Onoda, and then volume 16 with, I guess, they're the second years at this point. But yeah, so this store called Al Albiris, I think that's how you pronounce it. And someone in my comments told me about this website and said that it was really cheap and they had a lot of stock, etc. So I went and checked it out and they were right. Like all these cost me like $15 each. And if you know the price of Yapeta, that's like pretty cheap. And I think you only needed $40 to get free shipping. And I ordered this and they shipped it the next day and I got it in a couple days. So that was Pretty cool. Um, I'll definitely be ordering from this place again. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. I'll link the website in the description if anyone wants to check it out. But I had a really good experience with this and I think now I'm only missing volume 12 and 17 just came out. So I'll finally be caught up but they still haven't caught up to where I've read yet. So I'm still waiting because I think this is still... Yeah, they haven't even started the second inner high yet. So it's going to be a while still but I'm patiently waiting. Hi everyone, so I have two packages for today. The first one is from In Stock Trades. Again, we got some missing items in my order, but from what I did get is volumes 7, 8, 9, 10, and 12 of my love story. So yes, very excited to keep reading this. The day after I finished volume 6, I think I just went up and ordered the rest. And they did tell me that well, this spine is misaligned. They did tell me that volume 11 was out of stock, but I still haven't replied to their email to get a refund for that. And it looks like my volume 13 is also missing and another thing, which is okay. I'll just order them from Amazon or something if I'm craving the next volume after I get through 10. And then this is not manga, but I thought I would include this because it's pretty exciting. But this is from Crunchyroll and this is the Hinata Nandroid in the black uniform. I don't know if they were just trying to get rid of their stock or what, but... Haikyuu Nendoroids are usually never in stock anywhere, and this only cost me like $35, which is pretty cheap. So yeah, I think they have Atsumu also in stock right now. And I'm hoping, since Suga got a rerun and Kuro, that maybe they'll be in stock soon too on Country Roll, so I'll just be waiting. But yeah, for now I got Hinata, and now I have three Haikyuu Nendoroids. Hi everyone, today we have another package from In Stock Trades. Okay, so first we got volume 13 of Silver Spoon. I'm almost done collecting this. I think I need three more volumes until I'm finished. So excited about that. And then I picked up some more volumes of Kimi ni Todoke. I got volume 2, volume 6, volume 7, and volume 9. So I believe I have the first 10 volumes now of Kimi ni Todoke. I actually read the first volume the other day and I really liked it, so I'm excited to keep going with this. Hi, so we have one package for today. Okay, so what I got is volume 1 of Hell's Paradise. Kind of an interesting pick for me, but I want to broaden my horizons, and I know this is getting an anime soon, and a lot of people in the community talk about it, so I figured I'd get on the hype train before it gets too hard to find. I ended up getting it on Mercari, and I think this is actually the first manga I have that has an explicit content warning, so interesting. Not that I can't handle explicit content, but like I just usually don't gravitate toward anything like that. But I think the warning is there due to like violence. So yeah, I'm excited to get into this. We have a package from Amazon today. Okay, so I got volume 14 of Kimi ni Todoke. I just finished volume 10 and I wanted to get the next 10, so up to 20, but volume 11, volume 12, volume 16, I could not find anywhere. So I ordered the ones like in between those so far and 14 was only available on Amazon. So I'm glad I scooped this up. A little more than I was wanting to pay, but you know, whatever. At least I'll have those volumes in between when I'm ready to keep reading, but I'll be on the lookout for 11 and 12 in the meantime. We got one package for today. Okay, so we got volume 13 of my love story, and this is the last volume I needed. 
That was interesting. I've never gotten only one volume from In Stock Trades, and I guess that's how they package it, but this was one of the ones that didn't come in my order the first time, so they sent it later. And I ended up canceling all my other volumes that were like that because it had been like a month for one of them, and I just ended up ordering them from somewhere else, but I'm happy to have this and have my complete set. We got another package from Amazon today. Surprisingly, I haven't gotten anything damaged from them in a while, which is a win, but also makes me suspicious because this was kind of like in my mailbox weird, so we'll see. Okay, so we got volume 22 of Hunter x Hunter, and I was correct, it is a little banged up, but you know what, it's okay. But yes, I finally read all my volumes of Hunter x Hunter up to volume 20, so now I'm trying to piece together the rest, which is proving to be harder than I thought. I should have bought them all when they were all in stock, but I think I picked up most of the rest from Barnes & Noble, but for now I had to get 22 from Amazon. Hi everyone, today we have two packages from Alibris again, so let me get them open. This was the same order, so I don't know why. They split it into two, but... So first we have volume 20 of Kimini Todoke. Yes, trying to piece this together bit by bit. I really like those cardboard square type packaging. They usually seem to do the best job other than like using bubble wrap, etc. And then for this bigger one... Okay, so we got a bunch more volumes of Kimini Todoke. Like I said, I'm trying to piece these together. I bought everything that was available up to volume 20, I think, and I'm missing like three volumes, which kind of sucks because they're the ones like in between that I need, but I'm making a dent. So when I am ready to read them, I'll have them all available. There's a little nicks and bends on these ones, but not anything terrible. And then lastly, I got volume three of Blue Period. Finally, I felt like this kept getting pushed back and pushed back, but glad to finally have this in my hands. So yeah, I think this will be the last clip in this haul. So if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and bye. Mm -hmm.